So this is 1967 boiler made by Crane and comes with a BNG circulator pump and here is an um, interesting mechanism it's basically the aquastat, it's a temperature sensor and this is also controlling the pump on off cycle when temperature gets around 100 degrees well this this is not like degree accurate it's probably gonna be five seven degree the, uh, the tolerance between the high and low limits when it gets around 100 degrees the pump starts and the pump starts pulling the water bringing cold water from the radiators to the boiler and it's heating up well the pump started just now and brought cold water from the radiators and the limit went down the water cooled down in the boiler so the pump shut off that way the pump does not run all the time uh, the the other question is if it's good to cycle pump like this on and off cycle um, to actually change that cycle time what we can do is we can lower this a little bit lower this a little bit down and the pumps gonna run all the time when the thermostat is on so that's probably not good for the pump itself so I'll leave this as it was before I'll set it back to about 100 degrees 120 is here zero is here all right and then on the other side the limit is set at 80 180 okay and uh, the other thing from here this is actually 120 volts here I, I should be playing with this like I'm not playing with the f with the fingers it may may seem close in, in um, the camera but it's actually I'm not touching anything it's like two three inches away you know okay so uh, there is 120 volt and uh, the pump gets uh, the neutral is switched in this case for the pump but anyways there is a sensing bulb that goes inside in, in the in the sensing bulb has, has its uh, well that it goes in that's sensing the temperature and that's how the pump will cycles on and off now the, the pump itself is located kind of oddly the gas valve is down at, down at the bottom if this pump starts leaking it leak on this gas valve and uh, burn the valve or, or rust it or if you ever need to replace the pump gotta be careful with uh, the gas valve not to get damaged and I'm pretty sure these gas valves will not be available because it's 1967 boiler uh, here is a draft hood this is a natural draft boiler so it's a draft hood and this is also obsolete Let, let's take a look at this real quick here that's a brand name it's a meritherm uh, I can't really read the model number but here's a serial number and uh, inside it, it's basically almost closed there are fiends when they get hot they open they are bimetal fiends and, and let's say bimetal shutters let me say it this way and that those bimetal shutters will close when the boiler is not running when it cools down and they, when the boiler comes on then they warm up and they just open up there are four of them I believe inside I can't open this now but there are four of them that open all different directions and allow the draft to be uh, created and uh, fumes go out the other thing here is uh, this is old style gas valve obviously but let's say 
the uh, pressure relief. Well, if I open this pressure relief now to check, you will not you will not get closed and it will start leaking non-stop and then I have to replace. But to replace that valve, pressure relief actually, you have to drain down the entire system because uh, there is no isolation valves installed. On old boilers, you never see isolation valves installed anywhere, supply or return. So you have to drain down the whole house or you can do it pretty fast, take it off and try to hot swap you know but that's that's always messy as well so that's our supply this is getting uh, not super hot but it's warm so far because it's first time it's on this year and this control here the aquastat and pump control let me see what's the model number that's the model number it's a dual aquastat that's controlling also circulating pump by cycling it. So once the boiler goes to full temperature, then pump won't be cycling. It will just run non-stop until a thermostat no more calls for heat. Yeah, I, I, I always like these old boilers to take a look and uh, see what the components are and I always try to shoot the video on the, on the old aquastats and pumps because we don't come across them every day it's uh, it is basically the past and but we still um, fix problems uh, with these uh, systems obviously if it's fixable if not then we're gonna go to replace uh, in this case I just cleaned the burners earlier today and the burners were uh, full of rust and that that was the only thing I had to do today here and I'm gonna oil this pump so pump has three oilers one is right here at the back just open up this it's, it's a rubber uh, cap and we drop a few drops maybe six seven drops of uh, zoom oil lubricant there is the next one here that's the same thing second and there is one more actually for this shaft lubrication it's right right at this spot right here just opens up and I'm gonna lubricate this next so they will be done lubrication at the same time I'm thinking to put something under here so all this lubricant does not drip on the valve as it's been doing before this is the drain boiler drain and uh, that tends to leak if you ever have to drain this boiler down this valve probably gonna leak and you won't be able to shut this close all the way but you can always put the cap on it and that's okay I mean there's nothing wrong with uh, putting the cap it will just keep these little drips uh, not to happen all right it was just a quick video about what this boiler looks like and what the components are and uh, thanks for watching